In this quick tutorial, I'll show you how to convert radians to degrees, minutes, seconds. The question reads, convert 1.8375 radians to degrees, minutes, seconds. The conversion factors are provided below. The first conversion that we're going to do is between radians and degrees. And to do that, we'll use this conversion factor. Now remember, this conversion factor can be written in two ways. It can be written like this, pi radians over 180 degrees, or 180 degrees over pi radians. Now to convert radians to degrees, we'll take the number 1.8375 radians, and we'll multiply this by one of these two versions. The version that you should choose is this one, because by choosing this, watch what happens. You have 180 degrees at the top, this unit, and pi radians, this unit at the bottom. This conveniently gives us a situation where the radians, this one, and this one cancel out, leaving you only with degrees. That being said, let's multiply this out. 1.8375 times 180 divided by this symbol, which represents approximately 3.14. However, your calculator already has it programmed, and your answer is 105.2809. 105.2809, and the only unit that you have remaining is degrees, so therefore, this represents degrees. Our next conversion is to go from degrees to degrees, minutes, seconds. To do that, what you would do is only use this part of the degree, the decimal portion. The decimal portion of the degree is 0 0.2809. And remember, this is still in degrees, so we'll put the degree symbol. The first thing that you have to do is convert this into minutes. To do that, you'll need to use this conversion factor. And like always, every conversion factor can be written in two ways. In our case, we have one degree over 60 minutes, or 60 minutes over one degree. Now, which of these versions would you use? If you pick this one, you're correct, because by multiplying this decimal by 60 minutes over one degree, this time the degree symbols cancel out, and you're left with this number multiplied to 60, which gives you the amount of minutes. 0 0.2809 times 60 gives us 16.854 minutes, 16.854 minutes. Now to find the seconds, you will now need to use this part, 0 0.854 minutes. The conversion factor for minutes to seconds is a combination of these two. We know that there are 60 seconds in one minute. Now, of course, this can be written in two ways. One minute is equal to 60 seconds, or 60 seconds is equal to one minute. So if you chose this one, you're correct. By multiplying this number by 60 seconds over one minute, these two units will cancel out, and you're left with 0 0.854 times 60. 0 0.854 times 60 gives us 51.24. So how do we put this all together? We're going to use this number, 105. We're going to use this number to represent our minutes. And we're going to use this number right here to represent our seconds. 105 degrees, 16 minutes, and 51 seconds. And there you have it. That is how to convert a number that is in radians to degrees minutes, seconds. If you found this tutorial helpful, please support our channel by subscribing or by liking this video. If you have any further questions, you may visit our website at studyforce.com. We are an online service for students seeking free homework help. See you soon.